high command designated this operation as the final one for 1940 while the weather turns gradually worse. Despite the weather, it appears that the British have orchestrated a meeting engagement in the vicinity of Shepton Mollet. The British are buying time to further reinforce and expand the Avon stop line. It is to be understood that their hit and run strategy must not succeed. They cannot inflict many more losses in man and material than we have already endured. We will require your full complement of units to storm the Avon stop line next year. Finally, a special message arrived from headquarters. An advanced prototype nicknamed Walking Stuka should reach your position in a couple of days. Christmas has come earlier this year, Herr General. Yeah, welcome back to Panzerkorps Operation Sea Lion. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this meeting engagement. Never had any of those. And yeah, it seems both forces are storming forward to capture those targets. And well, I've already studied the map, of course. And if you take a look here, right in the center, I think this is the, the key strategic point here. Um, first of all, all the roads are converging here. So this is a natural yeah, crossroad, <laughs> well, not really natural, but it is a crossroad. And there's the only airfield in the center. So whoever holds this airfield has a huge, well, huge, well, benefit, no advantage um, for their aerial operations. Because, yeah, there's one, yeah, actually three airfields in the back here. So they have kind of... Well, a lot of repair capacity, but this will cost him prestige and I can deal with that. And we have, yeah, we have an airfield here. And it's secured by a strong point, so... I'm guessing that's kind of a security measure to prevent that the player is losing all his planes. So, um, yeah, I, I, well, that's indication there will be some kind of attack here, I guess. But we'll see about that. And, yeah, really, I can't think of, well, don't think it's just there for, for fun. <laughs> Honestly, so yeah, if we take a look at the strategic map, um, I don't expect to be any enemy forces in between here. So actually in this whole area, this should be clear. So we have two options here. Um, and this is the fun part. We could mad dash ahead and try to compete for the center location here. It's actually closer to our side than to theirs. But I'm not sure who starts. That might be interesting, but we can always at least try to land Fallschirmigas here and secure this forest and this airfield, or maybe just the city. I don't know the range now. Um, but we should be able to do it in two turns. Yeah, this will be close. So this would be a massive meeting engagement here in the center. And yeah, this is the risky way to do it. Uh, more secure would be to advance, for example, to this line and yeah, let them attack into your secured lines. Guess that's the best way to describe it. Just slowly, well, do a quick first turn and then position yourself. For example, capture some forests here and let them run into you. So, meeting engagement. So we, we can expect a lot of tanks. 
Um, at least the tanks will be in the front or well, what would be even better, a lot of infantry units in transports. So maybe we can snipe some of them. But I don't think there is much to it. So here in the open, we have a mass massive open area. This is an ideal operation field for our tanks. So yeah. I was wrong the last time, but this time I think I, I got the map layout right. And in the outer targets, there's a lot of forest around, so no use sending tanks in this direction. So maybe we'll just grab the forest here and, well, hold the line basically. And wait till we have one control over the center. We have. 20 turns, one moment, what are the vertical conditions? Conditions Take all objectives, take no enemy ground units remain. Okay, that, that might be difficult to find all of them, but I am guessing they're all coming towards us, so that won't be a problem. Yeah, so the plan is, I'm really tempted to just try to get it. That might fail miserably, but I want this airfield secured and this would be a massive advantage. But I think the enemy, well, the interesting thing about the, the meeting locations, the, the enemy basically has the same card. So if we storm forward, we are exposed to airstrikes and to quick tanks. So we have to be, yeah, extra careful not to open ourselves too much and yeah once we have secured the center area we'll well I don't expect strong forces here maybe we'll send <clears throat> some artillery here yeah maybe not even artillery bomber and, and infantry and the main bulk of our forces will well have a new front line that's like this and we'll move forward in this direction. So that's it. Um, that are my thoughts on this map. And since there is not much to, well, not much to do in the deployment phase, it really doesn't matter how you deploy here. Strong armored forces in the center, I guess that's obvious. I've already prepared the final layout here. Shepta here. Well, I just accidentally deployed one of my Falsch Amigas by clicking around right at the get go. So, well, not deployed, just dropped it. And there is no way to reload them. So I had to reload and I yeah, had to make a little bit of a break because I had to go to work. But now we are here again and let's see what we've done here for the deployment. Um, nope, that's what I wanted. Uh, yeah, and by clicking around here, I well misclicked. So what's interesting here yeah we deployed the false amigas to the front maybe we can get all the way here strong tank forces in the center already mentioned that and let's actually zoom out the plan is to yeah well maybe not this group because this bukage is in the way here um so maybe this is our flank guard here and, but the original plan was to only send one infantry unit, maybe a little bit support to grab a forest and hold here while we are fighting out the big battle in the center. But I think I already mentioned that. What's worth noting here, we have all our fighters this time, not going into a fight in the against the English with four fighters again. 
<laughs> I've learned my lesson. Even, well, put everyone to 11 strengths. But that's it. Nothing else happened. Just re all my units. And I think we can immediately jump into the game. And yeah, actually the British are going first. But don't think that's a big deal. It would be too easy otherwise, I think. Uh, because otherwise it would be very easy to grab all the center locations first. Yeah, um, let's storm forward. Don't think we have to be too worried here. But I'm trying to move the tanks furthest in the back first. Just to, well, provide some vision for the ones that are going further away. That's always a safe method to do it. And we can use this gap in the Bokash here to move forward. And yeah, I'm I'm using I'm I'm letting this garrison units um, guard the victory locations. Well, the game was so nice to provide us free garrison units, and well, one infantry won't make a huge difference, so we'll keep them in the back. I don't want to withdraw all my forces, or at least with the garrison unit in the back, we can estimate any the size of any counterattacks and if one unit manages to slip through because we are we cannot cover all of this well they can at least hold so i don't think we are in a risk here at the risk here they will dig in so i'm thinking they should be safe because most likely they will send a tank here or one infantry unit but definitely not much infantry yeah Enough talking, let's get moving. Yeah, and the only thing I'm trying to do, do here is balance my forces a little bit and use the full range of motion. Um, Yeah, Panzer 2. Not sure about him. He won't be of much use in the front lines, but he is quick. So maybe we'll keep him in a, well, kind of in between position so he can support on both sides wherever he is needed or cut off an enemy troop transport that is going to break through. We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. I should have put a half track here. Actually, we can grab the road. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, we still should be safe. And we can always send forward the scout. Don't expect any problems. No, everything is clear. Um, second scout. Well, they can't have reach, reached the city already. Nope. We are safe. Then let's see. Let's very carefully click on the... Well, what I did was a double click here and that's... Well, <laughs> you can imagine the, re imagine the rest. Um, yeah, we can actually grab two of the city hexes, hopefully. That would be huge help. Yeah, let's do it like that. 
Let's send in a fighter to provide cover for both of them. And yeah. Nothing else to do. I guess we can do some more scouting. So we'll try to use the maximum scout radius here. Don't want to leave any gaps. Okay. Here is the Royal Air Force. Now that's nice. Let's see. Well, there's a Spitfire Mark II, but unfortunately we can't. We should concentrate on one, I guess. And we have to be careful. There's a Blenheim here. And I'm pretty sure they will blindly dart ahead as I did and try to knock something out here. Let's see. So we will have to... Uh, it's so tempting to use all the fighters to shoot them down. But then we are without any cover. Oh, and those Spitfires are really tough beasts. Wow. But we should at least get rid of one of them. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Wow, this was a lucky blow. First Spitfire down. And I can't reach anything. This was maybe poor deployment on my part. But I think I definitely want to damage it. Wow, and we really got lucky here. And this one should be extremely expensive, I hope. Yeah, it's almost the same price as our fighters. So this was an absolutely great start. Now... Well, not sure what they are going to attack and there might be more fighters in this direction. And I don't want to risk getting overwhelmed here, but on the other hand, Well, we have to think this through. Um, we have only one fighter for protection, but we can put our, um, well, BFs in the movement path of one of them, just to intercept them. But it's very likely they're going to send units here and they're going to reach here. So they will uncover most likely one of my Fallschirm Megas. So it would be extremely helpful to double protect it, I guess. Yeah, I think there's no way around that. Because if there's another Spitfire here, this one will be toast. But then... We can Well there's always the possibility of scouts of quick scouts that could uncover us. 
So if we put this one a little bit to the back, if he goes down, he's screwed. If he goes down, more likely they will uncover this one and try to attack it, but it's protected. They won't uncover this group. They can only blindly attack it. And this one will most likely retreat and try to survive, I hope. Um, but we have another one here. We can kind of try to passively protect this group. If something rushes in here, they will hopefully get blocked. And yeah, I think the level bomber will put into protection. Yeah, let's put him here. Maybe he's going to intercept something. Then I hope that is if I don't know how this works. If if something runs into this one, does the protective fighter attack if this one ambushes? Yeah, maybe we trap something and we can unravel another mystery. But that's it for our turn. And yeah, we have to hope we will be here battle right now and don't get screwed. If, if enemy bombers somehow penetrate our screen here, that could be very bad. Yeah, just like expected, even better. Uh, one damage I can live with that. But this was a pure, poor. Perfect. And the Wolf Ramen. Prototype. This is the screaming Stuka, walking Stuka. Where is it? Here it is. One of my absolute favorites. This will wreak havoc on them. So, yeah, let's be careful here. We have to think. Well, I think first thing is to try and grab the city locations. Um, if we get blown away by the wind. Do we see the wind here somewhere? No. Um, this could end extremely bad. Well, like that. <laughs> oh God. No, why? I'm always, well, I, Admit I'm sometimes lucky with some things, but I'm never lucky with my Falsch Amigas. They always get screwed. We can't even reach with any protective um, artillery. And well, they're quite fast. So we'll see a lot more units in a minute. And I'm fully expecting more of the Royal Air Force. So all units that we are going to advance, we will have to provide air cover. So one way to do it is position a fighter here. Get rid of the Spitfire. Well, and I'm really Fascinated they're keeping it in, in battle, actually. But this gives us the opportunity. Well. Wow. 
Let's send in the non-core unit first. Still clear. I don't expect to get detected here, but who knows? But maybe this one will get detected and we could set up another fighter trap here or not because we could also bombard this one then we need to guard <coughs> our level bomber. But most importantly, we want to get as many units in fighter protection as possible. And I do want to have one of the heavier tanks in this direction. This is just too tempting. Um, I guess they're coming a lot of this brand carriers and I'm really enjoying this battle. Um, yeah, we can always move back. This one is quick, so we will use it as a flank guard. Let's take a look here. Well, there's nothing here. That's good. Let's see. That way we are at least protecting something. And definitely want to get rid of him without having to use another fighter. And now he is in protection. That's good, obviously. Now he is protected and undetected. That's good as well. And then well how aggressive do we move want to move forward here? We might be unable to reach this forest. The British are approximately here, so no. I think even the scout might be at risk here. We'll think about that later. Well, can't get this one in cover, that's a pity. So we might want to use another fighter here. We are protected here so we can move up our artillery. They can't go through here. They will always get stopped. Now we are here in a perfect firing position. Yeah, let's get everything in. Let, ah, that was stupid. Uh, maybe not. 
Let's see, we still have a scout here. Um, unfortunately, he's the one that's really, well, a little bit hampered by the countryside. This was the worst buy ever, I have to say. Um, but he has, he has air defenses, so we might be able to peek in this direction. Yeah, that's good. Because this now frees up another um, slot here. And this way we can, well, not sure. We have to position a fighter here, so we are protected this way. Have the artillery already in firing range, can't get breached here. Move up a heavy infantry. This one is ready to strike on all units, armored units that are going into the city. That's great as well. Then let's withdraw one of our fighters, like here. Yeah, and I really think I want to protect here. This one, I guess. He will go on the road, most likely. Um, let's check the range on this thing. Uh, six. This one is quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I highly doubt it will go all the way down here. You never know. You never know where a scout might appear. But I want some infantry in position. Nah, that's too risky. Don't like it. Let's put him here. And I think let's protect the Stuka and maybe they are running into me here and protected by the fighter. Yeah, I'm absolutely not sure about those. Well, I think we'll hold back with the level bombers for now because we don't have enough fighters to protect them. Well, actually we have. Now let's play it safe. Let's guard this. Let's guard him. Maybe we can trap something here. Um, yeah, and let's keep them protected. Let's keep him protected we 
We should be safe here. We are definitely safe here because he can go here or here. He will get stopped and we are protected. But this one could withdraw. Yeah, we, we have enough time. Let's play it safe. And well, this is actually a very long first turn. Sorry about that. But we have to be very careful with our positioning here. And I think we'll play it safe here for now. That's absolutely no use to, to rush anything. So very unlikely we are getting spotted here. And if we do get spotted, oh well, then we will pay the price. But I think that's a pretty safe position. So let's see if they can breach it. And now we know the ambush works. Wow, well, move, yeah, movement. Damages, Falsch Jägers. Yeah. Wow, this one did great. Those are paying the price for not being able to land where they should. Yep, lost our first unit. Yeah, perfect. Trapped. Unfortunately, the, take, the attack broke down, so they would have done well, would have lost more, but that's actually not bad. Yeah, the damn Farshim Jägers. But now, whew, a lot of things to do and like expected, massive meeting engagement here. And we have to get another Falschim here. But this one was the un well, this one was the unlucky one from day one, I think. He always <laughs> failed miserably at some shots or did ah, yeah. That's but we have three brand carriers here. We can't let that go. Seven damage. Perfect. And we should follow up this attack. Um, let's see. Who can get something done here? No one can. Well, do we want to, to risk the scout? I think we want. <laughs> Poor decision. <laughs> but he is dead. And he can at least retreat. So now at least we know where we want to put the stook. Let's see. If we put the stook here, we can not reach. Yeah, that's bad.
Well, that's not great either. Phew, that is too many targets. But we definitely can go here. I do want to protect my core units, not to worry about the Panzerjäger here. And we can close the gap here. So he can't, well, let's take a look at this vision range. It's only one, so there's a possibility we are going to <laughs> trap him again, this poor, poor T here. Um, but let's see. We should shoot down all the British planes. That's imperative. Bomber gone. Let's not risk anything. Don't want to lose my war strengths. Bomber gone. And now we have two left. Position it so we can use our level bomber here. Don't think we can guard everything, but we'll try our best. And let's do it this way. This way to provide additional mass attack bonus. He is gone. He is gone. And most likely there are yeah, infantry units in there. Very pesky to deal with. So I'm happy about that. And definitely go for the Matildas. One damage, not bad. But he is now completely out of fuel and ammunition. So he can do nothing. Second level bomber, where are you? Report for emergency. Nope. Ah, but actually, that might be great. If we take the hit here, force him to fire a shot, he will lose all his ammunition and is basically defenseless. The question is... He is almost completely suppressed, so we could use... Well, if we use another unit, we, we risk that he doesn't fire, so let's do it. Wow. See? This is a hero. <laughs> the others not so much. And the wickers, I don't like. Well, we can't force the surrender. So let's go for him. Let's... Shoot him down. Well, and we have to grab this airfield next turn. The latest. Another infantry unit heavily damaged. Yeah, move forward very carefully. We should be safe here. They can go here or here, but not here or here because of zone of control. Yeah. 
Ha! Wow, heavy hit on the Vickers. Hopefully. Nope, doesn't die. Um. Yeah, I'm prepared to risk. You're safe here. Yeah, now we have to deal with this lot somehow. Let's see. Heavy infantry. So this definitely has to go. Well, and this turns into a massacre, it seems. Provide protection all the way. Maybe kill off the cruiser. Nope. But I don't care if they reinforce it. Um, This is... Well, not much prestige, but it accumulates and... Massive artillery protection now. Yeah, and we still could destroy something. So, infantry is a primary target. This one, ah, eh, not so much. This one is a primary target, but we can't really do anything against it. So, Porty, don't care. Don't care about you. Let's destroy another infantry unit. Actually, the infantry units are harder to deal with. Um, in my opinion, at least. And I'm not sure if I do want to move forward here because um, this is a nice defensive arrangement and we have that many units in position. So I don't think we will have a problem taking the airfield. Let's get in a free shot. Let's move to safety out of vision range of him. Let's move in the direction of this forest. Yeah, this is our forest protection unit. And then... Well, those Matildas are tough beasts. Provide protective fire. And I think we'll keep him where he is because yeah, we really want to be able to grab this one. This would be a disaster if we can't do it. Yeah, and here we just want to keep an eye on this road. We want to know if something pops out here of this bocage. And... Yeah, one possibility 
this here because well the porty could attack but we are protected by the stook but why risk anything let's slowly move forward and let's try to get some protection going this one is a primary target if something is coming our way because it's spotted and we have a perfect trap opportunity here level five entrenchment like that so i think that's it so i think we'll keep going till next turn because we definitely want to know if we get this airfield and yeah i'm pretty sure we're positioned correctly yeah let's end the turn and hope we are not getting overwhelmed here. If we lose this airfield, we are basically screwed. Another Wickers. This was not a good idea for them. This was not a good idea either. Ambushed. Seven damage. Three damage and they have a ton of infantry units here well snow that's not good because that reduces our initiative bonus and our vision obviously and now we have to deal with a lot of units and our artillery is not working as it should But we have to get rid of the scout and the, the scout cars they are really tough beasts but and i want to keep him retreating towards the city because i want to keep him in the city where i can destroy him easier Yeah, and we have to get it. The problem is... We know there's a Matilda somewhere. I think it's here. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to go here. And I want to be able to fire... a shot at whatever is here. No, I don't want to go this way because I'm... Yeah, let's risk it. Ah, it's empty. That's so great. Let's take it. You are not getting any vision. Whew. So, fuel is secured. Don't worry. Well, I guess yeah, he has to be here. Yeah. Well, that was bad luck. But we came out of, well, we, we, we didn't, we almost did take any damage. So that's okay here, I think. 
So now I definitely want him to withdraw into the city. Let's see. Mass attack bonus for the win. Well, wasn't necessary after all. Now let's grab the city. Let's provide artillery cover. We have a secure, well, it's not perfectly secure. We will have to think about that. Let's grab the forest location. I want scouting capabilities in this direction. And I want three units adjacent to this Matilda because then it's completely unable to do anything. So I think Bast will be to do it this way. Uh, with artillery cover, this one should be safe. And it, well, basically it can't get attacked anyways. And another cruiser is gone. So how about we can't afford any more losses of man and material? Um, I guess we start to send units in this direction. Because if this is secured, we don't have to worry about it anymore then all our units are free to concentrate on this spot. That would obviously be great. Let's provide some emergency artillery protection if necessary for the engineers. Then let's review. Five fighters, two tactical bombers, and the level bombers can keep can keep going. But there are more great opportunities here. Wow, another heavy infantry gone. This is almost too good. <laughs> no other way to put it and infantry into the forest well let's see yeah perfect no damage taken and another infantry unit gone. Now we should be able, ah, damn it. Now we should be able to get rid of the Vickers. I hate those units. provide another trap opportunity. This portie is going to have a really bad day, I think. Um, 
yeah, we will move to the designated position, um, trying to grab a forest here, here or here. Um, Yeah, and we moved the scout back. No, no risk. Uh, no use to risk him. So this is okay. Let's try to get some intel going. Uh, let's check out this one. And yeah, we have a huge gap in our lines here. And somewhere there is still a uh, Matilda. But this way the artillery is safe and we have a secure line here, they can't go through. So at the moment, I think none of the British units could have slipped through. So this maybe was not necessary, but we don't need them anyway. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, let's end the turn here and I'll uh, not the, the turn the video and see you next time. I think we did a great job, captured the airfield right under their nose absolutely demolish their air force, demolish their brand carriers, demolish their tanks. Well, the Matildas are still here, but we'll get them. Don't worry. We had minimal losses. We are in control of the center and we have 16 turns to go to smash the rest of their forces here. Yeah. Pretty happy about the outcome and see you next time. Bye.